What's up guys, Neil here with Gadget Hacks. And I think we can all agree that most of us have some content on our devices, whether it be pictures, video, voice memos, or maybe even a file that we'd prefer to keep private. So today I'm gonna show you how to activate and use private mode on your Galaxy S6. To begin the setup, let's navigate to our settings. From within the settings, look for privacy and safety. Within the privacy and safety options, you should see private mode. Now, this isn't the only way you can activate it, but I did want to show you this way because you can look through the preferences. So after enabling it, you have to actually use a passcode or some sort of access type, which you can edit right here. So private mode access type, you may have to use your thumb initially and then you can use a pattern pin password or your fingerprint to access private content later and activate the private mode as well then there's this feature auto off then there's the auto off feature that allows you to disable private mode anytime you lock your device or the screen goes black now that it's set up let's show you the other way you can activate this as well as how to toggle this on and off quicker just pull down your notification area hit the edit option right above your quick settings. Now you should see private mode right down here. We want to make it easier and add it to the panel. This way we can toggle it on and off quickly with just a tap. As I mentioned, there's a bunch of stuff you can keep private, like files and videos and voice memos, but I'm going to show you how to do this with the pictures just to keep it simple. Just go ahead and select it. Then on the top right corner, you should see more and then move to private. And that's it. To access or view your hidden content, go to the application of the designated content. Right now it's a picture, so we're in the gallery or the Photos app. I'm going to go ahead and just enable private mode. And this will require the activation of my fingerprint, which I'm using. And then you see the private gallery pop up. This will work the same for a video or if you're hiding a document and then I can view it. And if you ever want to unhide it, just go ahead and go to more and then go to remove from private. And then you can designate where it goes. I'm just gonna keep it in the general camera folder. So that's private mode, guys. You don't necessarily need to have private mode on to hide content, but you will be asked to use your activation or your fingerprint, whatever you set up to hide the content. Once you're in private mode, you can view all the stuff. Just be aware that you don't keep it on like I just did because then anyone can look at it. Definitely check out the full guide over at GadgetHacks.com. All the details you need will be in there. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for some more awesome and very useful Gadget Hack videos. Thanks, guys.